We present a method for authoring and simulating meandering river networks on virtual terrains. Rivers are important landforms that shape the underlying terrain. River channels exhibit different trajectory patterns depending on their distance to the source, terrain topography, and other environmental conditions. In this paper, we focus on the meandering stage that occurs in low gradient areas where the channel evolves into irregular sinuous patterns due to the progressive erosive action of the riverbank. Our contributions are threefold. First, we introduce a physically based method inspired by research in geomorphology to simulate the evolution of a meandering river. We introduce a global river network data structure, encoded as a directed graph, to simulate the evolution of all channels on a given terrain. Finally, we introduce several authoring tools through control terms in the simulation or through direct manipulation of the graph. Our method runs at interactive rates even for large networks with hundreds of channels, allowing the creation of complex sceneries enriched by a river network. We start from an existing elevation terrain T and an initial river network N, 0, automatically computed or provided by the user. A simulation step proceeds as follows. First, we compute channel migration on each channel independently as a function of local and upstream curvature. We then simulate abrupt events such as cutoffs and avulsions, which can drastically change the paths of the different channels. Finally, we resolve collisions that may have occurred and optionally place procedural junction templates. While the simulation is running, we record all channel trajectories. This is useful for computing a procedural sediment cover and vegetation density that are later used to enhance the input terrain. At the heart of the simulation is the channel model, defined as a time-varying piecewise cubic spline curve in the plane. Channels are also characterized by their flow, width, and depth. We then compute channel migration for every channel in the network. Sampling points move toward the normal direction by a certain amount called the migration rate. The migration rate depends on the local and upstream curvature. This introduces a lag between the maximum curvature point and the maximum migration point, which is conformed to real river's observations. After channel migration, we simulate abrupt events, such as cutoffs. Cutoffs occur when a channel starts to intersect itself due to the high local curvature. The channel abandons its current trajectory, which becomes an oxbow lake and continues onto the shorter path. We record the location of oxbow lakes during the simulation and use this information to compute a procedural vegetation density and sediment cover. Avulsions are another important phenomenon in meandering rivers. They occur at the location of crevasses, which usually appear at high curvature spots along the channel. While the exact triggering conditions of avulsions remain an active area of research in geomorphology, they may be related to intense rainfall causing a sudden overflow in the channel. The upstream part remains unchanged, whereas the downstream part is abandoned and replaced by a completely new path starting at the location of the crevasse. In our system, an avulsion may be triggered stochastically at the location of a crevasse. We then compute a new path that connects further way downstream procedurally, starting in the direction of the tangent to the curve. Here is an example of our simulation on a single channel evolving freely without terrain obstacles. Previous trajectories can be observed in light brown. Oxbow lakes, in dark blue, form regularly due to cutoff events. We extend this physically based migration model with authoring tools such as repulsive or attraction control regions. These controls directly influence the migration direction of the channels. The channel simulation is generalized on a global river network data structure, encoded as a directed graph. We resolve collisions between the different channels and generate river junctions using procedural templates made from identified archetypes from geomorphology. Here is an example where the river channel is constrained between the surrounding mountains. We use the recorded simulation history to generate abiotic parameters, such as soil moisture and sediment deposition.
These parameters are then used to procedurally generate a vegetation cover taking into account previous river trajectories, such as ancient oxbow lakes, onto the terrain. We provide a visual comparison of a synthetic river against a real photograph. Here, the user manually created an initially straight channel and ran a 100-step simulation before adding vegetation. Finally, we show an interactive editing session by an experienced user. Here, the user sketched the river network graph and ran the simulation, while simultaneously modifying the relief of the terrain in real time. Control regions are a useful tool that influences the development of meanders. Here, the user places repulsive regions to prevent the channels to migrate in these areas.